Number 79, titration of a 20 mil sample of acid rain required 1.7 mils of a 0.0811 molarity sodium hydroxide solution, which is NaOH, and we needed that to reach the endpoint. If we assume that the acidity of the rain is due to the presence of sulfuric acid, what was the concentration of sulfuric acid in this sample of rain? Okay, so a couple of key things here. They don't give us a balanced equation, but that's totally okay, right? But they said that we are titrating, and titrating is usually when you're adding an acid to a base. And in this case, we are doing that. We had NaOH, which is one of our strong bases. We should memorize our strong bases. So NaOH is one of our strong bases. And we have this acid rain. It's acidic, so we know that it's an acid. And they're telling us that the acid rain is because of the sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is one of your strong acids. So you should memorize that as well. Sulfuric acid is H2SO4. Okay. So now I have clearly a base. I have a acid and we're titrating them, which means that we're adding these two together. We're mixing them together to form a salt and water. And when you're titrating with acids and bases, there's a quick shortcut formula that I would love to show you guys. And that is this one. It's basically like the M1V1 equals M2V2 formula. However, it's for acids and bases. This side is for the acids, A for acid. So I'm just going to put that here. And the other side, the Bs, stand for the bases. So it's the molarity of the acid times the volume of the acid, which will equal the molarity of the base times the volume of the base. However, there's a catch. For your acid, you have to just multiply by the number of H pluses that you see in your acid. And then for the base side, you just have to multiply by the number of OHs that are in the base. So in this case, we said that our acid was H2SO4, and for the base, it's Na, yeah, it's NaOH. So how many H pluses are in H2SO4? Since H2SO4 is a strong acid, it's going to dissociate 100% into its two ions, and the two ions are H and SO4. So in this case, how many H's? do I have two H pluses. So in this case, I have two H pluses. And for NaOH, I just see that I have an OH here, so I have one OH minus. So a two is going to go in here, and a one is going to go in here. Let's just write out all the other numbers. Let's see. So it says titration of a 20 mil sample of the acid rain. 20 mils is a volume. It's of the acid. So I know that I have 20 mils of my acid. This required 1.7 mils of 0.0811 molarity NaOH. So here's the volume of the base, and here's the molarity of the base. So molarity is 0.0811, and the volume was 1.7. Now, the endpoint, for anyone who's asking what, what an endpoint is, you've probably done a titration lab, or maybe you're going to do a titration lab in your school, like in your laboratory. So basically, when you do titrate acid and bases, you're going to see that there's going to come a point in time in which the color is going to change in your flask. That color change signifies that you have reached the endpoint. So that's basically what's going on here. This question, though, we just need to find the concentration of sulfuric acid. Remember, concentration is just a fancy way for saying molarity. So in this case, we're looking for the molarity of the acid. So I'm going to put this as like an X. But now we basically have everything else. So I'm going to start from left to right and just plug in some numbers. The number of H pluses, just like we said before, were 2. So I'm going to say 2 times X. That's what we're solving for times 20 equals the molarity of the base was 0 0.0811. The volume of the base was 1.7. And then this would be multiplied by 1 because I only have 1 OH and NaOH. Now, I just want to point out here, guys, if you're using this handy-dandy formula, the volumes don't have to be in liters. 
they could be in mills, they could be in liters. The whole point is that whatever unit you use for one of them, you have to use the same unit for the other one. That's why I love this formula because I don't have to convert to liters. Okay, so on the left-hand side, this would just be 40 X and then 0 0.0811 times 1.7, I get 0 0.13787. I just wanna make sure 13787, perfect. And we're solving for X. So I'm just gonna divide by 40 on both sides. And we get a lovely answer. Maybe I'll put it, maybe I'll put it over here. So that number divided by 40. I'm looking at the question now. I see that I have three sig figs. I have three sig figs and I have two sig figs. So technically I can only use two sig figs here. Um, but you know, I don't care about sig figs, but maybe your professor would. So I'm just going to say that this would be 3.4 times 10 to the one, two, three, negative three. And then just units, this is molarity of the H2SO4. And that's it guys. How easy was that? Just know the formula. It's easier than writing out the balance equation, especially for titration of acids and bases. This is all you have to do, okay? All right. I hope you guys are doing well, and I hope this video helped you. Let me know in the comments, okay? Love talking to you guys, and good luck on your future tests and quizzes, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.